guys back at you oh uh, I want to show a welding table that I built uh, a little over a year ago um, it's four by ten uh, the top is three quarter inch thick and the legs here are four by fours and then I've got some heavy beam here and then some here and <clears throat> that's for the shelf so you can store the extra extra steel in there you know leftovers and then uh, I've got extra cross members welded all in and then I uh, got some storage here for for my grinding blades uh, this my magnetic square is one of them these are my new favorites I used to have some older ones but those are great you can turn them on and off individually for one one side or another makes it really nice for for setting something up so you can set this turn this on and then if you got a piece of steel let me let me grab one here real quick you want to get that in position so you can set that in position first without locking locking that over and then you just turn it on and there you go um, that's that's what I really love about uh, these uh, these magnetic squares right here you can turn them on individually and uh, they're, they're great to have uh, they're not cheap but if you do enough welding they're worth every penny of it and then uh, right here might as well take this with me Right here, that's probably the most handiest piece on this entire table. Um, this is a piece of magnet right here. Turn it on and off with this Allen wrench. So if you want to, you know, want to grind a piece of steel or whatever, you know, you just lay it on there, turn it on, and it won't go nowhere. And then when you're done, or if you have to weld something together, you just you know, set it in place, and then you can butt your other piece of steel on there, or whatever else you want to do, and uh, that way you don't have to worry about this shifting on you, because the magnet is holding it in place, uh, which is really nice. Um, I got my trusty big old vise, six inch. I can turn this thing around, and then I got a, a pipe holder on that end. And the cool thing about it is, uh, it sits far enough from the table. As you can see, I can run a piece of pipe straight up and down, or, or if I turn it this way, a piece of steel straight up and down without interfering with the table. So I can set something straight up, I can lay it sideways, I can do it whichever way I want. Um, this thing is worth its weight in gold because of that. Uh, you can turn it around it sits well past the table and then uh, I took these stupid swivel things uh, that you use that you can use by hand I took them off and uh, replaced them with some bolts uh, that way I just use a wrench if I want to turn turn my vise around um, and then tighten them back up and if I want to set my vise straight again loosen the bolts up and turn this thing in place so right here I got my hammer rack makes it real easy uh, right here's my grinder holder and I got uh, my chisels punch you know, you know stuff like that a little shelf for pencils and measuring tape you know so if you want to have something to throw out of the way you can you can actually do that um, and then these holes um, I got these clamps from uh, from Harbor Freight just cut the end off, put a bolt on there, a 5 8 bolt, and that way I just stick them in a hole, clamp them down, tighten them up, and that's it. 
one hand operation handy as all get out all right here I've got uh, some of these pieces here welded up so that way I can set up squares um, uh, I do a lot of a lot of big steel welding uh, if you want I'll show you some pictures you know here somewhere or whatever and that way you got an idea of uh, some of the heavy stuff I built so these are real handy I can set up a square set up a frame and uh, just go to town Uh, right here, that's where I store them. And uh, these right here are some of my older magnets. These are okay, but you know, it's just one switch that turns both sides on. And I like the others a lot better. Right here, I got a gutter that I can, you know, take out or move around. And uh, that way, if I want to weld a drive shaft or, or piece around pipe or anything like that, um, or anything like that I can uh, I can actually get that done uh, make sure that this is all straight so this this is all flush as you can tell and then uh, if need be I can move this and move it over another set of holes right here so if I got a really long shaft I can actually work on that so and then I've got my drill press here um, and I got the same holes, so if I want to use a clamp, I just grab my, one of my clamps right here, just set it in there, and that's it. And then I got my other clamps right here. These are with a speedy handle on them. They're real handy. Set it in place. Pull this handle, and uh, that way you tighten them up. That way, that way you don't have to deal with uh, swivels like that. So that's that's nice. And then uh, another thing is, uh, yes, if I want to move this table, I don't have lay or don't have wheels, but I use my pallet jack for that. You roll it right underneath that. Crank that sucker right up. And now it lifts the table off the ground, so if I want to move it, I can move it around. That way I don't have to deal with stupid wheels or anything like that. I feel that is, uh, on the end of the day, the weakest link in the table. So um, that's why I set the shelf as low as possible so it will work with that pallet jack. And uh, that's, you know, it's been really great. So, yeah, if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comment box, let me know. And, uh, oh, uh, this table probably lays, weighs over a, uh, a, a ton, 2,000 pounds. I know the top itself right here, uh, 4 foot by 10 foot, 3 quarter inch is uh, over 1,200 pounds. So I think that thing weighs about 2,000 pounds. So anyway, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comment box, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.